air tightness system is vapor control. Yeah, so um, we're having an air leakage needs a physical hole, but can find the way of the least resistance. Yeah, so it finds its way what's the least resistance. That's what air is doing. It just finds the hole. It needs to be taped. Needs structural integrity because the pressure difference between inside and outside has an impact on uh, on that. Yeah, so if there's a higher pressure outside, the membrane would be bubbling in. If there's a lower pressure inside, then the, uh, then, uh, the membrane is bubbling out. Yeah, so this structural integrity needs to be there. Can easily have 10 kilograms per square meter pushing on that surface. Yeah, to give you an idea. Then vapor control, uh, vapor Le uh, leaks movement through materials and due to uh, to the random motion water molecules overlapping is fine so if you just overlap for vapor control that could be okay but not for the air tightness part so air tightness sealant continues taped strength structural integrity needs to be handled uh, air pressure of 10 kilograms like i just said durability Every component needs to match uh, uh, or exceeds the lifetime of the building or major, re major renovations. So especially if it's inside in a major re uh, renovation, you might be able to access a lot of the air tightness, 50 years plus. It needs to be air infiltration and permeability, so it needs to be airtight. Then vapor control uh, management, so an air tightness system. Yeah, it's an air barrier. We could even say air tightness system barrier. But we have normally a vapor control management difference. Barrier management. Due to the random motion of water molecules, overlapping is fine. No physical strength needed. Durability is needed. Uh, again, our 50 years plus. Vapor uh, management needs to work across, full, uh, across the full buildup. So air tightness is an air tightness system, a system that is only at one layer or maybe a secondary, like I said earlier, uh, but it's only one layer. That's our air tightness system. A leaky bucket in a leaky bucket is still a leaky bucket. It's one layer where we stop that movement. Uh, the vapor control needs to be managed through the whole buildup of it. So the vapor resistance of the different materials need to be designed in a way that we are not having a point in the buildup that we're having condensation. Air tightness, vapor tightness, two completely, like often in the same product, but two completely different things that we're talking about. So be careful when speaking about air tightness and vapor tightness.